Hello, thank you so much for clicking on this video today. My name is Laura at Girl Going Global and this is my travel tip series. So today I'll be talking about Penang in Malaysia. So Penang was actually my very first experience of Malaysia and I just found it a very interesting place. So there's lots to do, lots to see there. So I'm gonna give you my top tips. Before I get started, I will enter some vlog footage that we took here. So this is our room. It's a little bit messy at the moment, so I won't show you, but what I will show you is the balcony. So this is our balcony. And at the moment, we can just see a lot of sea and sun. And it is very hot right now. We got on the boat yesterday at Singapore, which was really cool. Just on our way to Penang. We get there in about five hours time. But for now, let's go to the pool. Penang now. It's a lot more built up than we thought, but it looks cool. Yeah. I'm very excited. You don't seem very excited. I'm pumped. Oh, I'm very excited. Yeah. I am. I can't wait. <laughs> Show us it. <laughs> So number one, it might be an obvious one, maybe not if you've never been, but the temples. I don't think I'm even going to try and pronounce the temples because I will not do it justice at all. Wat Chayaman Kalaram. Oh my goodness, is that right? Ha! Wat Chayaman Kalaram. Oh! There is so much to see. There are dragons outside. There's a 30 meter long Buddha inside the temple. We're at the Thai Buddhist and Burmese temple. Look at these dragons. Wow. And then over the road, there is another one called Damakarama Burmese Temple. I'm going to, I'll write them all here, so. It was very tranquil and peaceful, like ponds and different kind of sections to explore. You do have to take your shoes off, which is um, part of respect for their religion, but it also is quite a peaceful thing to do. It's quite relaxing, just having your bare feet out. I don't know why, it just feels relaxing, I love it. Well, now we're going to... Walking into one of the Burmese Buddhist temples. so peaceful, all these gardens and temples, it's beautiful. There is another famous temple as well, Kekloksi, and it is the largest Buddhist temple in Malaysia. But unfortunately we didn't get to visit because it was chucking it down so we didn't get to go. 
Next tip is the hop on hop off buses. Like usually I don't really like to do them because they're a bit of a rip off I feel. But this one was really good. It took us to the temples, it took us to the next point, which I'm about to say. And it was just really easy and also really good value. And we got front row seats at one point as well. Um, so it was just pretty cool to be up in the bus and then just watch the culture of Penang, their lives going on. <laughs> next tip is to go to Penang Hill. If you've seen any of my other videos, you might know that I'm a bit claustrophobic, I don't really like lifts. So this was one that I was a very nervous to do, um, but I am so glad I did. It's the funicular up Penang Hill. So it's like this lift that takes you all the way up, like a, kind of like a train. Um, and I am really glad that we did it. And when you got to the top of the hill, oh my goodness, the views were insane. The funicular in itself is quite an experience. It was very, very steep. And um, you go through this tunnel as well, and apparently it's one of the steepest tunnels in the world. So, <laughs> hold on to your horses. I'm actually quite glad though that I didn't know that at the time. all over Penang, absolutely beautiful. We're now at the top of Penang and this is the view. We did have to go up like that. <laughs> We went when it was thundering as well, so it was like very atmospheric. You could definitely spend like half a day up there, like have a little picnic, do a bit of walking, enjoy the views. So anyway, definitely one to add to your Penang list. Okay, another one, if you are staying in Penang for a long time, if you are like backpacking around Malaysia, then I would highly recommend to go to Langkawi. I know that it's not in Penang, but whilst you are staying in Penang, definitely get a ferry. I think the ferries are like an hour 45 or something to Langkawi and it is so worth it. It is such a beautiful, beautiful island. Just so tropical, gorgeous beaches, fun things to do. Um, I've done a video on Langkawi, which I will link up there. And I'll also link it down below in the description box so you can check it out. Head over there for a day trip or even longer if you are in Penang for a while. gardens we didn't get to go we didn't have time but i would have loved to have gone because they do look absolutely beautiful so do try and fit that into your itinerary if you can but if you're going to penang have the most amazing time there it's very cool there's lots to see lots to do do let me know if you use my top travel tips uh, in the comments below that'd be fabulous i will link some more vlog footage on penang here I have also got a blog post on this 
where to hang in Penang, which I will link down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it or it helped you out at all. And please subscribe for more travel tips. Thanks guys. Have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you again next time for more travel tips. Goodbye.